Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, four. Still in the book of Luke, no. We're in John now. How about that? Okay. Conspiracy to kill Jesus. Therefore, the chief priests and the Pharisees convened a council meeting, and they were saying, what are we doing in regard to the fact that this man is performing many signs? If we let him go on like this, all the people will believe. Therefore, six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they made him a dinner there, and Martha was serving, and Lazarus was one of the, those reclining at the table with him. Mary then took a ground, a pound of very expensive perfume of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled. Excuse me. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas in his cut one of his disciples, the one who intended to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the proceeds given to poor people? Now he said this, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he kept the money box, he used to steal from what was put into it. Therefore, Jesus said, Leave her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. The large crowd of Bethlehem then learned that he was there and they came not to account of Jesus only, but so they might also see Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. But the chief priest planned to put Lazarus to death also. <laughs> because on account of many of the Jews were going away and were believing in Jesus. The triumphal entry. On the next day, when the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they shook they took the branches from the palm trees and went out to meet him and began shouting, 
Hosanna, blessed is he who comes on the name of the Lord, indeed the King of Israel. Jesus, finding a young donkey, sat on it as it was written, as it is written, do not fear, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, seated on a donkey colt. These things his disciples, his disciples did not understand at the first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things for him. So the people who were with him, when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, continue to testify about him. For this reason also the people went to meet him, because they heard that he had performed this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see what you are accomplishing anything? Look, the world has gone after him. Greek, Greek sees Jesus. Now there were some Greeks among those who were coming up to worship at the feast. These people then came to Philip, who was from Bathsheba in Galilee, and were making a request of him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip came and told Jesus. But Jesus answered them by saying, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The one who loves his life loses it, and the one who hates his life in this world will keep it to eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will also, if anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Jesus foretells his death. Jesus foretells his death. Now, my soul has become troubled, and what I am to say, Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came down from heaven. I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. So the crowd stood by and heard it were saying, 
that you had thundered, others were saying, an angel had spoken to him. Jesus responded and said, this voice has not come for my sake, but for yours. Now judgment is upon this world. Now the ruler of this world will be up Now judgment is upon this world. Now the ruler of the world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all complete myself. Now he was saying this to indicate what kind of death he was going to die. The crowd then answered him, we have heard <coughs> to remain forever <coughs> and how is that remain forever and how that you say the son of man must be lifted up who is the son of man so Jesus said to them for a little while longer, the light is, is amazing. You. Walk while you have the light so that darkness will not overtake you. Also, the one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light so that you may become sons of light. These things Jesus proclaimed and he went away and hid himself from them and thought he had performed so many signs in their sight. These things Jesus proclaimed, but he went away and hid himself from them. But though he had performed so many signs in their sight, they still were not believing in him. This happened. So that he so that 
as he were of Isaiah the prophet. What you spoke would be fulfilled. Lord, who has believed the report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason, they could not believe for Israel. For Israel said again, He has blinded our eyes and has hardened our heart so that they will not see with their eyes or understand with their heart. And he and be converted and so I will not heal them. These things Isaiah said because he saw his glory and he spoke about him. Nevertheless, many even of the rulers believed in him. But because of the Pharisees that would not be exterminated from the synagogue, for they love the approval of people rather than the approval of God. Now Jesus cried out and said, The one who believes in me does not believe only in me, but also in him who sent me. And the one who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world so that no one who believes in me or remain in darkness. If anyone hears them, keep them, and does not keep them, I do. I do not judge him, for I do not come to judge the world but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not accept my teaching as one who judges him the word which I spoke that will judge him. On the last day, for I do not speak my own, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. And I know that this commandment is eternal life. Therefore, the things I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Lord's Supper. Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus, knowing that this hour has come, that he would depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and doing superior
during the supper, the devil having already put into the heart of Judah Issachar, the son of Simon, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had handed all things over to him. and that he had come forth from God and was going back to God, got up from the supper and laid his outer garments aside. He took a towel and tried, tied it around himself. Jesus washed, washed his disciples' feet then he poured water onto the basin and began washing the disciples' feet and wiping them with a towel, which he had thrown around, which he had tied around himself. So he came to Simon Peter and said to him, Lord, you are washing my feet. Jesus answered and said to him, What, what am I doing? You do not realize right now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, Never shall you wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no place with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, do not wash on my feet, but also hands and my hair. Jesus said to him, He who is bathed, he is only to wash his feet, otherwise he is completely clean, and you are clean, but not all of you. For he knew the one who was betraying him. It was for this reason that he said, Not all of you are clean. <clears throat> then when he had washed their feet, and taking his garments and reclined to the table again, he said to them, You know what I have done for you. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are correct for I am. So if I, the Lord and the teacher, wash your feet, you also ought to wash one's another's feet. For well, I gave you an example. So what you also would do, just as I did for you, truly, truly I say to you, a slave, but not greater than this master, nor is one who is sent
to send him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I'm not speaking to all of you. I know the ones who I have chosen, but this is happening so that the scripture may be fulfilled. He helps, eats my bread, and lifts up his heels, his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am He, truly, truly. I say to you, the one who receives anyone I send receives me, and the one who receives me receives him who sent me. And I think I'll take my little pen. What you huffing and puffing about? Keep doing my pen out of the way. Blessing is a word. Bless these scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See, the 